Uh, time for my local truck's biggest meeting of the season then now. We're at work for a three-mile work novices chase. El Centro Fountain, Vinnie Gerard, Great Sadler, Darren Thompson, The Phalanx, Joshua Sutherland, Window Rock Lover, Vinnie Gerard, Zeraldo, Zafra, Darren Thompson, Biller Tudor, Graham Clutterbuck, Cloak of Magic, Leon Van Rensburg, Pokes Alan Annie, Martin Leon, Talk Back Mayor, Graham Clutterbuck, The Wild Witch, Joshua Sutherland and Wild Rose for David Hooley. It looks like a pretty calm day today. We've got a couple of wilds in the field that are away in racing. You hear some wild winds here at Warwick as well, I can tell you. In the winter, the old wind blows and it can get pretty chilly. But the local horse pokes out of Annie. It's the first to show, gets over the first in the lead, locks the front run. The Phalanx is in second, Wild Rose is in third. It's the one grey in this one. That's Graham Clutterbuck's talk back mare as they get to this ditch. He was a little bit slow over it, but got over it okay. Wild Rose is second, Phalanx third, Great Saddler now just about fourth. The fielder pretty tightly grouped, the leader has not gone off too quickly. Happily in the lead, stole a race earlier in the season by going off in front and staying there. Hopefully we'll do the same today, but most unlikely in graded company really, and novices. And it's Pokes out of in front, and talk back mate, and Zeraldo Zafra. Wild Rose in the purple jacket is fourth down this inside. Cloak of Magic is also close up. The Phalanx has just dropped back a little bit. The Vinnie Gerard pair are at the back. The old Centro Fountain and Window Rock Lover as they take the fifth. Although Great Sadler has now been relegated to last. So the pace isn't all that hot. And Poke Sardani leads by about three lengths to Zeraldo Zafra in second. Talk back the only grey is third. Then comes the Wild Witch and Wild Rose and Phalanx. Then the old Centro Fountain. Just tucked in behind them, Cloak of Magic in the blue jacket wider on the track, and then the back three, Billa Tudor on the inside, the two shades of green of Window Rock Lover, and then finally Great Saddle has a four there, Wild Rose is gone, so Wild Rose down at the ditch, and Pokes and Annie continue in the lead. Over the next they go, I'll jump that one okay with Pokes and Annie there, clear by a good five lengths to the Phalanx and the Wild Witch. And Zeraldo Zafra and Talk About Mayor, those fall virtually in a line as they take number eight. And all Talk About Mayor made a mistake there. And was looking to get away with it as they come up past the enclosures. And this fence will be the last next time round. And they're all safely over it. We have Poke Sanani in front, passing the big screen. Passing the winning post then, racing uphill, heading towards the castle. And turning left and out onto the back part of the track. And Pokes on Annie is clear. Well, about four lengths. To Zeraldo Zafra and the Wild Witch and the Phalanx. And talk about Mary's after that one. And Great Saddler. Just made up a lot of ground from earlier on. In Cloak of Magic and El Centro Fountain. And a gap for another three or four lengths, then back to the back two. Window Rock Lover and Billa Tudor. So the pace didn't appear to be all that hot, but they're getting quite strong out. So maybe they are going a little bit quicker than I thought as they get to the next and pokes out Annie. Jump that one nice enough in front from Ziraldo Zafra, who's still second. Talk but Mayor is the grey split of the two Joshua Sutherland horses, the Wild Witch and the Phalanx. As they head to the next. This part of the track, you can't see them from the stand. Talking about golf courses, there used to be a golf course in the middle of Warwick race course. I think it's still there. It was a caravan park as well, I think. Pokes out Annie in the lead, they've done a lot of changes to it over the years, including knocking down the big concrete stand on the cheap seats. And they get over the next one. And Pokes out Annie's the leader. Um, Zeraldo Zafra in second, and Great Sadler third. Then comes the Phalanx and the Wild Witch as they get over this ditch. Safely over the ditch, talk about Mayor the Grey has now dropped to the back. But the field have definitely been in a bunch up behind this leader in the net as they race down towards the final seven furlongs. And Pokes and Annie is in the lead from Zeraldo Zafra and the Phalanx. Then comes Great Sadler, got chucked by the leader, has taken a length out of the field again. We haven't ruled anything out yet. Even talk about Mayor who dropped to the back, he's still going well enough on the outside. And he's no more than 
Oh, should have made another mistake there, though. Anderson, Great Saddler's a faller, so Great Saddler went there. Now suddenly El Centro Fountain comes under a bit of pressure as well. And it's Poke Salani in the lead from the Phalanx in second. Zeraldo Zafra is in third. Really good jump there by the Phalanx. I've seen him jump into the lead. The Phalanx in on the outside of Poke Salani. Zeraldo Zafra is third. Now Cloak of Magic coming into it in fourth. Talkback Mayor starting to run on around the outside. Billa Tudor still there. Then Winder Rockler and the Wild Witch El Centro Fountain is the only one standing who's out of it. But now it's Cloak of Magic who's gone into the lead. Cloak of Magic goes on from the Phalanx in second. Talkback Mayor goes into third. Poke Cloaks and Annie's beaten as they get over the 16th. And it's Cloak of Magic who's gone clear. Cloak of Magic then clear from the Phalanx in second. Talkback Mayor running a big race in third. Then comes Billera Tudor. The Wild Witch is back in fifth. This is the third last. And Cloak of Magic is over it clear in front. Cloak of Magic, two furlongs to go. Two fences to jump. Cloak of Magic clear of the Phalanx in second. Surely between these, although Window Rock Lover is starting to run on. The leader jumped that really well. And he's five clear when the Phalanx is trying to close. Racing down towards the final fence then now. And Cloak of Magic suddenly starts to tread water. Here comes the Phalanx and Window Rock Lover. They're over the final fence, and now it's the Phalanx who's gone on. The Phalanx goes into the lead. Window Rock Lover on the outside trying to close, but it's the Phalanx in front. Racing to the line, it's the Phalanx who wins it from Window Rock Lover. Seconds around, oh, Zafra going to be third then. After that one, Cloak of Magic and the long time leader, Poke Salad, and he dropped right out. And it's Joshua Sutherland, another one for him. The Phalanx takes it. Window Rock Lover second for Vinny Gerard Zeraldo. Zafra for Darren Thompson was third. Cloak of Magic, Leon Rensburg fourth. And the Wild Witch for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.